I am far, far, far from being a grass expert, but I can only tell the differences when they're seeding up, which they're beginning to do now. And I think I've got one, two, these are two different colored coxfoots. This is a very green, green one. I don't know if you can see. It's very, whoops, green. And then this one is a very pinky one. And they're at similar stages, so I don't think the purpley one goes green. So there's, there's two different ones of a kind. This is a kind of a, a reedy grass. Then here's another one and another one that isn't uh, leafing out yet or the things aren't dropping. Here's another one. This one is the one that I think is the most beautiful. It's called the hungry grass and it looks like little fish. Uh, the, the, the grains are really, really pretty. It's a really pretty grass, I always find. So there's that one. Then there's these ones that are kind of go yellow. They're white or yellow. Then there's this one here. I don't know any of their names. Uh, this is another one that looks like a kind of a, a bigger grained kind of grass. This one is another one. Here's another one that's all purpley. This is, I think, a kind of Timothy. And then this one, I don't know what this is. This might be a rye, but these are definitely rye. Rye is very distinctive in its flat heads as it goes up and so that is a variety of one, well, potentially, because some of these might be the same grasses and I just don't understand their development phases. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, potentially, sixteen, seventeen different grasses. And that's just a cursory walk around. Uh, it, just for about 15 minutes through the field. So that's, and this is my absolute favorite. It's such a beautiful, beautiful grass. And it, it also trembles in the wind. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous grass.